Happy hump day. So did you know that October shares two dog holidays? Mm -hmm. It's Adopt a Shelter Dog Month and Adopt a Dog Month. And what does that mean? That means adopt a dog from a shelter, a rescue, or from someone who needs to rehome their dogs. Now, my mom hears all the time from people saying that they don't want shelter or rescue or secondhand dogs because they're somebody else's problem. Mm -hmm. that, that If that dog was any good, it wouldn't have ended up in a shelter or a rescue or somebody wouldn't be trying to pawn it off. And that's not true. It's also a myth that if you're going to get a new dog, it better be a puppy. Otherwise, it's not going to be loyal and it can't bond to you. Boo hiss. Nothing can be further from the truth. Now, while I came home as a puppy, and, and so did Quincy, most of the dogs that my mom and dad adopted were between 8 months and 3 years of age. Of course, one was 12 years old when, when she came home. Her name is Lily. But every single one of them were loyal and smart, and they sure bonded. Now, some people will say, well, you know, if you get a dog from a shelter or a rescue, it's got a lot of baggage. Mm-hmm. Well, so do humans. But my brother Quincy, for instance, he was just about four months old when he came home. And, you know, you might think that that's a really young puppy, but he had had a really rough start on life. He had been beaten. He had been starved. He had been hung. Mm -hmm. Left for dead. And when animal control went to cut him down from a tree, they thought they were putting a dead dog in the back of their truck. But he moved. He was alive. And it took a lot of rehab for my mom to get him to trust again. But once he did, he excelled. He became the dog of the year for Time Warner News 14 Carolina for 2003. My mom spent a lot of time getting him to learn how to trust and feel comfortable around people. And he was always really cool with other dogs. But children had been his abusers. Mm -hmm. Little children under the age of 10 were the ones who had beaten Quincy and hung him and starved him. Little kids. And Quincy went on to be a therapy dog who worked exclusively with little kids. That's how he got his award. Shelters and rescues do get their fair share of small puppies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're not even weaned yet, and they come with their mother because people just abandon them. And that's a terrible thing. And that's why my mom always preaches spay and neuter, because we can't adopt our way out of pet overpopulation. And so it's really important to like put a lid on it and, and stop the unwanted puppies because a pedigree does not guarantee a home for life. There's plenty of pure breeds sitting in rescues waiting for a home. So if you're looking to add your first dog or another dog to your household and you want to share some love, please don't breed or buy when those in shelters die. Rescues pull from high kill shelters every single day in every community. And if you go to a rescue, most foster dogs have already gotten started on their crate training and their house training. And if they're old enough, if they're a few months old, they'll come spayed or neutered with all of their shots. So please consider adopting. And of course, I have to suggest, if you're going to be in the market for another dog, consider a chihuahua. There's a bunch of us in rescues, and I can't imagine why. Like, who wouldn't want... A little cuddly thing like me. Something that loves to get under the covers and snuggle up. A cozy little companion. Sweet, loving, a heart wrapped in fur. A diva you can dress. And of course, if you get a boy, you know, every girl is crazy about a sharp dressed man. You can dress him too. Mm -hmm. So consider a chihuahua. 
Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Don't forget, get your entries in for my Halloween contest. I'll, I'll put the link down below, okay? All right, see you later. Bye.